Since Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott entered the NFL, no player has put up more production. He was the fourth overall pick back in 2016. And over the course of his career, he's put up 7,000 yards from scrimmage, which is the most of any player in the NFL during that stretch. Now, the player who followed Zeke at Ohio State, he arrived the year after Zeke went to the pros, was running back J.K. Dobbins. And he quickly stepped in with the expectation of becoming the next great Ohio State running back. Well, Dobbins also lived up to the hype. He actually finished his career at Ohio State with 500 more rushing yards than Zeke. That's no small feat considering the type of player that we're talking about here. And Dobbins talked about that fact when he joined us for an interview on Instagram Live last night. When I was in high school, I was watching Zeke and run up and down the field against Alabama and Oregon and, and won the national championship, you know. So me, I wanted to try to do the same things, you know. I, unfortunately, I didn't get to go to the national championship, but, you know, just passing him and, you know, doing things, you know, I, I don't want to say better than, but, you know, mm -hmm. just in the same level as him, you know, it's, it's definitely a dream come true. So Ravens fans certainly hope that J.K. continues that production that he started in college and carries that to the pros. Now, I really enjoyed the conversation with him last night. We covered a lot of ground during that interview. And something that I found really interesting is him talking about why he chose to wear number 27 in the NFL. He said he chose it to honor his father, who actually passed away when he was 15 years old. That was his dad's number, and he wanted to carry on that legacy in the NFL. So if you want to watch that full interview, make sure you check it out. It's on our app, our website, our YouTube channel, our CTV app, also our IGTV page. You can watch it a whole bunch of different places, so go ahead and check it out. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, and have a great weekend.